When I think about Kentucky quarterbacks over the last few years, guys like Steven Johnson and Terry Wilson come to mind. Joey Gatewood was a bust, and Drew Barker did not live up to the hype. You could say Kentucky's quarterback play has not really been that great, especially when it comes to the NFL. That is finally going to change, as going into 2021, we saw Penn State transfer Will Levis take the SEC by storm, become one of the top quarterbacks in the conference, and also, he became an NFL draft prospect. Some thought he would leave after the 2021 season, but he decided he's going to come back for next year. He's gonna have a little extra pocket change to spend as well. In today's video, I wanna introduce you to who Will Levis is, why he has so much hype, and the crazy and absurd NIL deal he recently signed. So without further ado, let's just get into today's video. So going back in time, Will Levis went to Xavier High School and is from the state of Connecticut. In two years as a starting quarterback, he threw for 2,648 yards and 28 touchdowns. He also had seven total interceptions, and he won a lot of games for the program, but those weren't really eye-popping numbers that were to make him a four or five-star recruit. He was seen as a project player at the college level and was someone who had the potential to be great. He did get a decent amount of recruiting attention still. He was a three-star recruit and had over 20 FBS offers, which included Penn State, Florida State, Iowa, and North Carolina. He was recruited by James Franklin to go to Happy Valley, and he chose to become a Nittany Lion. According to 24-7 Sports, Levis was the second best player in his state, the number 28 pro-style quarterback, and the 652nd best player in the class of 2018. Three-star recruit didn't have a ton of hype going into Penn State, but he later get an opportunity to play. In 2019, he ended up throwing for 223 yards with two touchdowns and two interceptions. Penn State had a down year in 2020, and with Levis being the backup to Sean Clifford, he really didn't get much of an opportunity as he threw for 400 yards with one touchdown and no interceptions. He also did have six total scores on the ground, and while he was a good player, I don't think he ever thought he had an opportunity to actually play at Penn State, so he entered his name into the transfer portal. Kentucky was lacking some depth at the quarterback spot, so they decided to take a flyer and allow Levis to transfer there. He ended up winning the starting job and had a great year. He threw for 2,826 yards, 24 touchdowns, and 13 picks, with nearly 400 yards rushing and 9 scores on the ground. Wide receiver Wandale Robinson had one of the best receiving seasons in Kentucky history and made himself an NFL draft prospect because of it. Levis built some NFL draft hype, but as I said, he decided he was going to come back for next year. There is a lot of hype in Lexington at the very moment, as many believe that Virginia Tech transfer Tavion Robinson will take a similar role to Wandale Robinson, and Kentucky could finish as high as second place in the East next year. We'll have to wait and see though. Wandale Robinson at the Combine said, quote, I think Will is going to be here next year. I think he'll be one of the better quarterbacks at the Combine. When Levis was at Penn State, he was seen as a run first quarterback, but once he got to Kentucky and worked with offensive coordinator Liam Cohen, he became a dynamic passer who could also use his legs. And he now holds the honor of maybe the weirdest NIL deal in college football. There is a horse called the War of Will. It's five years old and it won the Preakness Stakes back in 2019. And one way that that horse company wants to promote the horse for its upcoming races is by partnering with a college football quarterback. Everyone knows that Lexington is a huge horse area, so Levis will get an NIL deal from that horse. Let me explain. According to the website, it says, quote, War of Will, who's earned $1.9 million and is managed by Claiborne Farm in Paris, will partner with Will Levis on an advertising campaign that will center on the athleticism of both the football player and the racehorse. He'll be promoting the breeding seasons and the horse in general. The horse is also supposed to have some foals this spring, and he will promote those as well. Sorry, I'm not an expert on horses by any means, so I apologize if I butchered any of those names, but I find this pretty cool. The president of the farm said this, Quote, having a star quarterback help promote one of our young and promising stallions is a new way of advertising what we think provides a perfect synergy of our brands. Will's athleticism and performance mirrors what we saw with War of Will on the racetrack and is the reason why he is such an exciting stallion prospect. So yeah, today we combine some football and horse racing and NIL has gotten wackier and wackier over the last few months and I gotta say, this is the weirdest one yet. I think this is definitely pretty cool and I guess it will help bring some awareness to horse racing to college football fans, but for now, I'm just excited to see what Will Levis and Kentucky will do next year, how he will do as an NFL prospect, and what NIL deals we'll see next. Let me know down below, what do you think of this NIL deal? What's another crazy NIL deal you've heard about? And what's a topic or player I could cover in my next video? Be sure to let me know down below, smash that like button if you wanna support today's video, and check out all my other videos on the end screen. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.